Good batting. Sharp, Shawnee. One other thing I probably should mention when you're talking mindset and your game plan is like what state do you need to be in, right? And what I mean by that is you're a really nice guy. You've always been this really polite, nice guy. I'm working with this young up and coming tennis player all on his mindset and his performance, but not his skills. And his best tennis is when he, he's angry and he's like, I'm not losing to you. And he's like, got this anger about the opponent, right? Whereas some people for me, I actually felt more comfortable when I was friends with people and I was like playing against my mates, I felt most comfortable when I felt liked and wanted, and, but my mates were sort of bantering. But mostly when I was relaxed and calm. I didn't perform well when blokes were like saying, you suck and like absolutely spraying me. That would get into me a bit. I got better as I got older. But each individual has to work out themselves. Do you need to be really hyper? To, Justin Langer and Matthew Hayden used to go and open the batting together for Australia. They'd walk out together, face the same bowlers. But what they did in their preparation was very different. Hayden apparently would sit there with a towel over his head and really quiet, zen, slow deep breath, try and get calm. Whereas Langer would turn up loud music and dance around and sort of like, come on boys, come on, fire himself up. So one's trying to get up, one's trying to calm down. And so that's a really good sort of analogy of where, you, where do you need to be? Because my first 10 balls thrown to you, I reckon you've, and we, we just chatted for a bit, but you've just been a bit slow, yeah. right? You're talking about playing positive cricket. I haven't seen a lot of energy. Yeah. Like if you want to play positive, high intensity, high intent cricket, you need to bring intensity, you need to bring energy. I think that may be a, a natural thing, because even on the weekend I feel, I came out and thought you, and they were already halfway with the run, and I was just, just felt really tentative, a bit slow, so mm. that's the one that kind of the case. So it's, it's here, like, do you need to be more like Langer where you fire yourself up a bit more? And you walk out to bat frustrated or angry or fired up, right? whereas normally you're a pretty chilled, calm guy. But when it comes to your performance, what state do you need to be in mentally, emotionally, physically? Yeah. Right? Some people need to be really chilled. Some people need to like, get energy going in their body. Does that make sense? So working out yourself is half the battle. And if you can work out when I am really just happy and calm and relaxed, I play my best. Or when I'm a bit on edge and like, I'm gonna pick a fight with someone. Michael Jordan used to make up stories that the opposition, did you ever watch The Last Dance? Docu-series, amazing sports documentary series. And he used to, there's this, they're recalling this final series game. And Jordan said that the opposition rookie said, oh, bad luck, Mike, or better get luck next time, Mike. Not even that bad. And so his teammates talk and they go, oh, you never say that to Jordan. You never say that to Jordan. That fired him up. Anyway, the next night, Jordan, they played again. Jordan had 60 points and made this kid look silly. Apparently, the kid never said anything. It was Jordan made it up in his head because that fired him up. Like, he was a bit crazy, you can call it, but that's what fired him up. Shane Warne used to, like, he said that if he was a bit flat, He'd like throw the ball at the batter or something and like the batter would go and they'd like create a fight that would get him excited, get him up. And so each and every one of us need to work out. And I didn't know this till I was older. When I was older, I realized I need to be calm. I need to be talking to my mates. If I was batting middle order, I made an effort to sit with the boys and tell stories and have jokes and laugh and be relaxed because that's when I'd walk out there and play my best. If I was sitting there intensely watching, listening to music, I would just be so anxious. Yep. So you've got to work out your best yep. state. Yep. Yeah? Yep. Good. <laughs> nice, Shawnee. Remember, like, especially once you're in, you're looking to hit a boundary first. Obviously, it doesn't have to be from ball one. But we've got that intent to score. One little thing technically, I think. Get in your stance for me, please. You've obviously 
been in the gym, it's noticeable how strong you've become. But just, I want you to relax here. If this is up in here, you're in your own way a bit. Yeah. You sort of look a bit tense there and your weight wants to go that way. So just relax. Imagine you're squeezing a ball between here. Yeah. Like squeeze, just relax here. And your head can be a bit more still. Yeah, yeah don't let this get up yeah. in your way too much. Yep. Yep. Yep, just relax. Like, I reckon ideally you probably want that front shoulder sort of blue bowling machine. Yeah. Just leg side. Give your head space. Not too much and not too open. Yeah. So the question there, you made a mistake. Was it a decision-making error? Or was it a technical error? You didn't move and the decision was fine? Okay. So once you've made that that you've done that analysis, move on. Yeah. <laughs> See, to me, I reckon those two balls are very similar. Yeah. And so I would think you could have driven the ball before on this wicket. Yeah. Your technique let you down. You didn't get into it enough, you didn't use your left side enough. So then you've got to be exactly really honest. Was it decision making? Was it technical? Or a bit of both? Yeah. Solid. Take your time. Get your mind set. Clear. Focused every ball. It's a skill to manage your thoughts and put your focus on what you want it on. So in between balls, you've got to do a bit of thinking, a bit of quick analysis, then relax, and then you come back and focus on the next ball. You've got to practice that. You can't just do it on the weekend. Shoulder. Good batting, good batting. Yes, good position. Beautiful position. So that's probably a single, like, depending on how straight your mid-on is. And you're looking to score and reacting, like we're talking about what we spoke about before, not thinking single first. Probably got an outcome of a single by thinking boundary and then reacting backwards. Well played. Yeah, I, ideally I think that comes probably straighter. Maybe a little bit closed and hitting the cover rather than like here. But it's not bad. Good. Okay, that suggests you're not in the right mindset, that ball. That's a half volley, you should be scoring off that. Unless it's your first 10 balls. But I reckon you're good enough to be scoring off that. Good. So in this sort of session we're doing where we're going slow, we're doing reactions and sidearm, I don't want you to get caught up in your technique too much. Okay. I think you've got to keep your technique for a technical session. Yeah. Where you, and you've got to make sure you're spending plenty of time doing that. Yeah. Underarms or bowling machine or whatever, you isolate certain shots and you work on movements, but it's hard to be too focused on technique while you're facing the sidearm, you'll get really confused and distracted in your decision making. Shot. Good batting. Okay, that's middle and leg. So your position's pretty good, but we want that coming this way. Okay, good. Probably want to score off that ball on your leg stump. Sharp, Shawnee. Nice, Shawnee. Been good there. Back foot, outside off, really good. All good, good. So just because you miss it, I don't want you to lose that intent. That's okay. 
Shot. Shot, mate. Good. Runs. Good. Good. Full commitment. A lot of you. The thing about what basketball is, is they fully commit to what they decide they're going to do. So there's no like, oh, should I, should I, half-hearted. And so many mistakes happen when you're half-hearted. When you fully commit, most of the time it'll be okay.